What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and we're back with a build that happened in a stream a long time ago and it was completely finished in the stream and uploaded to the workshop but with the addition of the wings mod and realistic flight I decided to go back and relook at it just because I think it's a really cool build and I thought it would be really really cool to have an actual proper flying version of it and that is of course this remote control cargo plane here so I, I made this completely in a stream uh, it happened at least a month ago if not longer and you know it was pretty simple plane I mean it might look like a lot of controls but really it's just this platform with a simple a WASD converter so it's got you know a little engine hooked up to a spring here with a couple sensors this converts W and S and then of course we've got A and D converted here and then those just go to some logic gates which in turn go to all the controls in the plane and it uses the polygon mods just for some of these you know front pieces to kind of make it look a little more rounded it's got some weight blocks as well from the polygon mod and then it uses the mod pack to get all the small thrusters and I believe that's it just those two mods to sort of make this remote control plane happen and we're not gonna fly it because it actually flies pretty terribly and there's a few reasons number one it's flying with thrusters so you can see with the the logic diagram it's overly complicated there's thrusters to make it tilt and roll in all the directions and it's just really really complicated like the thrusters in these engines don't actually push it forward they actually make it roll left and right and there's thrusters in the front here to make it pitch and you have to balance the weight of the thrusters versus the plane and it's just a, a really really difficult thing to do and it's a real pain in the butt but remaking it we've now got the new version the cargo plane 2.0 remade with the wings mod and I mean it's so much better you can see the logic diagram is a little bit simpler and it really it's got thrusters now one in each engine and they just move it forward and that's it and then the rest of it is controlled by the wings so on the old one it was really hard to tell what the controls all did because you know they're all just controlling different thrusters and if you fly upside down for example the whole plane will collapse and it won't actually work so there were all sorts of issues but with the new one it's actually really really sweet so if you press w it'll activate a controller which pushes the elevators up to bring the whole tail you know down on the plane and then press s and it'll bring it up like that pitch up and then uh, A and D, you can see control the roll on the wings. And then one would give us our forward thrust. So we're just going to we'll bring that back there. Two gives us the yaw on the tail fin. I mean, I found you don't really need yaw ever. Like, I, I honestly never use it. It's there. You can use it, but it, it honestly doesn't come in, in use. And then four is the flaps. So it's kind of cool. The whole back section of the wing there will actually move just to help you on takeoff. You don't really need it because it kind of bounces a lot. But, you know, if you want to, it's there. And then of course uh, A and D there controlling the ailerons just with some invisible bearings also in the mod pack. So this uses the mod pack and the polygon mod pack just like the original cargo plane. But it also uses the wings mod just to get those flight features. And then of course uh, you know 4, 5, and 6. So uh, 5 being the landing gear, 6 being that down piece there. And, and then that's it. And 4 being those flaps. So really just a, a great plane. But we'll put this one out on the runway. We are of course in the water world just because it's... You know, a nice easy place to test and you got a lot of uh, a lot of space and a lot of visibility. So there we go. So you can see it's still remote control connected. It's pretty good stuff. And uh, our controls should all still work. No problem. So you can just hit 4, activate those flaps, and then uh, press 1. Now you'll notice there are logic gates. So they do kind of help you get a visual. And there we go. Up. So uh, 4 and then I think it was, what is it? 5? Well, pitch. Come on. Can we go back this way? Turn around. No, don't go out of sight. Don't go out of sight. You know, we got to go in first person. It's easier to see here. Okay, turn. It's very, very fast compared to the old cargo plane, but it flies a lot smoother. And you can see for some reason when you use the script mod. Oh, God. We're on. Oh, it is very difficult to uh, to control this plane. Okay, I think. think. Come on up. There we go. That was without the flaps. So you can see a little bit more difficult to get it off the ground. It'll still do it eventually. Uh, can we come back over here, please? A line of sight would be great. All right, here we go. Let's not lose the line of sight here. It is very, very fast, but it is really cool how you can fly it, you know, sort of. Oh, no, that's the wrong. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh. All right, here we go. We've got a successful one up in the air there. We're going to come down for a loop going uh, really, really fast. Pull up. Perfect. You can see it kind of, you know, the wings mod kind of does some weird stuff where you see all those like smoke things coming off of it. It's kind of cool, though, because it looks like you're flying really, really fast, but... I mean, it is flying pretty quick, but you can see it just fly. Oh boy, that's crashing. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It does fly really, really well, though. I really enjoy flying this plane, and it's just so much fun to fly a remote control plane. I mean, if we had a camera mod, that would be the coolest thing. I guess we could put a, a mini seat on it, but then, you know, just have a mini cargo plane. All right, can we pull this back? Yeah, we're going back this way. We're high up there. Okay, let's loop down. So cool. 
All right, let's see if we can bring it around for a little bit of a landing. Let's just loop it back. It's really hard to see against the sun. Okay, oh, don't don't go underwater, don't go underwater. Look at that, perfect. See, we can fly upside down too. I mean, obviously a cargo plane in real life wouldn't do it, but this is not exactly a, an accurate scale model. It's a lot more enjoyable to try and, and do cool like flybys and stuff. Let's see if we can get a really close close shot here. It is very difficult though to judge, uh, you know, where you're aiming. All right, here we go. Oh boy, uh, that was a little bit close of a flyby. All right, I want to see if we can take this thing off and actually bring it back around and land it on the runway. I, I haven't really done that, so I, I'm sure it's possible. It's just very difficult to judge the distance. All right, there we go. Turn the flaps off. Press 5. So that should bring the landing gear up. Loop around here. Let's do a flyby first. All right, coming overhead. Oh, that looks... It looks so cool. Oh boy, no, no, no. Up, up, up. Uh, I mean, it sounds kind of weird. It's not exactly making your normal jet noises. Really, really cool to watch it just zoom on by. And I know it flies a little quick. I, I did try playing around with it flying slower, but I found for like the most effective use of the wing mod, you really want it to fly, you know, quick enough to actually get good lift and, and not have to, you know, take forever to take off. And you get more control the faster you're going, it seems. So it, uh, it really just, it was finding that good balance point. Um, I lost sight of it. Where... It's, it's okay, it's way off in the... Okay, there's a silhouette. There's a silhouette. It's going up. Are we... Is it looping back towards us or away from us? Oh, yeah. It's just really high up. Holy cow, look at that. Oh, and... Um, it was a good landing. It was a good landing. I can't stress how much fun this is to fly compared to the old one. The old one was just... Because you can't do all the same maneuvers, the wing mod works symmetrically in both directions. So you can actually flip your plane upside down and still fly it, which just makes the maneuvering of it so much better. And uh, you can see here, it's just so much easier to control. But let's see if we can bring this around for one more flyby, and then let's come in for a landing. So we're gonna do a nice flyby here. So here we go. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay. Um, is it actually stuck in the tree? Oh my goodness, it's stuck in the tree. Now, the cool thing about the RC glitch, or whatever you want to call it, is the fact that you can take the plane itself, which is the, the receiving end, if you want to call it that, and you can put it on the lift, and it won't break the connections. But if we try and put this section on the lift, it will break all the connections. So if you disconnect it, and you crash your plane like we just did there, uh, easy mode, you can just put it on the lift, and then problem solved, take it off again, and all the connections should still work. Now, we're going to get this landing. So here we go. We're going to flip over. We're upside down now. Well, oh no, we're going way up, way up high. Come back around. Okay, perfect. Cut the throttle a little bit. Drift in, drift in, drift in, drift in. I mean, we kind of landed it. I mean, I don't think it's going to be really that easy to land. It's very difficult to judge distance with this thing. But okay, here we go. We're coming in, we're coming in hot. Um, do we have landing gear down? I think now they're down. I can't, you can't even tell. I, I mean, I hit the five switch. Yeah, there, five, five switch, yeah. So if the five switch is off, that nor gate is on, which means the landing gear down. All right, so here we go, landing gear down. We're coming in for, we're coming in hot. Oh boy, oh boy, we've got some engine issues apparently. Turned off the throttle, on the throttle, off the throttle. Oh, I mean, okay, you know what? That was, that was pretty good. I think that's as, uh, you know what, that's as close as we're gonna get. Of course, after building the cargo plane, it couldn't just stop at, at that. We had to make something a little bit better and a little bit more fun to fly. And so I decided to make, using a similar kind of base uh, without the actual cargo plane, I decided to make this little single jet stunt plane. Of course, it actually has multiple engines, but same kind of deal as the cargo plane. I just kind of looked at, you know, making a little simple stunt plane that could fly relatively quickly and, and you know, have a lot of maneuverability. So it has just a single wheel in the front, just to kind of give you that liftoff capability. Uh, landing again hasn't been attempted so I really really don't know but same control setup so we've got W which tilts the whole back fin instead of just an extra fin on the outside A and D of course do the little outside ailerons and then uh, we don't have flaps and two and three do the tail but of course again for yaw never really use that and uh, one starts the whole thing up. So we're gonna try this one out as well. Now, I am gonna upload both of these to the workshop. Again, this one uses the same three mods, the mod pack, the mod pack polygons, and of course the wings mod to make it fly, but it does work really well. And uh, I think it looks really, really cool if we can, oh boy, kind of screwed it up there. Yeah, it's kind of a little weird to take off. Sometimes you have to turn the wheels left and right just because of the, uh, to get the ailerons to tilt it, just because the wings will kind of drag a little bit, but. It's going first person so we can see here. 
and you can see it'll uh it's very much so got higher maneuverability but sometimes the wings kind of shudder just from the speed it gets but you can see it rolls a lot better oh that's the ground that was that was the ground it does fly really really well though but again it's more of like a stunt plane the cargo plane flies definitely more stable uh, with this plane you can do much steeper maneuvers much tighter turns but of course you lose control that much tighter. you can see every time we do a tight turn we do get that kind of smoke bleed off which is kind of cool it's weird that the mod does that but you can yeah it definitely sounds like a plane as it flies by it is really really cool to fly these planes though they don't have any sort of cardboard they're not destructible or anything like that but they're just a lot of fun to fly around and i really enjoyed you know making them and I think it's really cool to do RC stuff, especially with the Wings mod. I definitely want to do a few more planes and uh, maybe a helicopter or two. I'm not really sure, but let me know, of course, what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you do have Scrap Mechanic and you want to play around with these mods, I encourage you to download these from the workshop. They are a lot of fun. And make your own RC planes. It's really not that hard to just, you know, wire up something with a couple bearings on either side. And I can't I can't tell which way the plane's facing. Is, it coming, is that coming back? Is it coming back no is it is it that's going away it's coming back now okay it's going down oh it, it totally just went down didn't it oh no it's coming back out oh my goodness this is the most i just want this plane back there we go now it's coming back it's gotta be coming back here just just loop come on come on get back here here we go perfect i see it i see it i see oh it's shuddering a little bit oh it's oh we've been flying upside down the whole time that's that oh no no we're totally dead but anyways guys make sure you let me know what you think of these builds in the comments down below and make sure you hit those buttons and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time